We've seen him back on the telly and he even returned to racing just a few weeks ago. But today was the real test when Grant was back behind the wheel of a V8 supercar and our James Thomas was there. Never really knew whether I'd make it, but I hung on to that dream that, um, that V8 supercars was going to be the box that I tick when I know I fully recovered. A lot of people said that Grant Demia wouldn't see the inside of a V8 supercar ever again. But today he proved he could, and most importantly, he proved it to himself. Oh, feels like Christmas. Structurally I feel fantastic. Um, no pain, no discomfort, and now I have to get some pace back and that's coming too. So I'm, I'm, a to I'm in a toy shop here, this is unreal. Grant credits this moment as the motivation that has pulled him through a truly torrid time. A vertebra in his lower spine was shattered into about half a dozen pieces when the truck he was driving landed heavily during a demonstration. When you go to put your weight on the deck and your legs just fall from underneath you, then you lose feeling in your hands, you go, you know, I think I'm facing potential spinal damage here. This is a normal bone, nice square shape. This is the bone that's been fractured and you can see this part of the vertebra here has been squashed down against itself or accordioned into itself. And you can also see a fracture line here coming back. Grant fractured his vertebrae in six places with the downward pressure placed on him during this stunt in a monster truck six months ago. The happy former weatherman's world collapsing around him. I had a moment in the hospital where um, I'd actually had a reaction to some very strong painkillers and blacked out for a while and um, came back, woke up and thought that everything to that point had been a dream and I was actually paralysed, I had no control over my, my arms or my legs and I could only move my eyes and uh, I turned to, to my girlfriend Cheryl and Grant is walking and Cheryl has been with him every step of the way. Through months of physio, bad dreams and the indignities of incapacitating illness. Ever since he first had the accident, I remained the eternal optimist and kept saying to him, you know, we'll get back, we'll get back to the life that we had and we'll, we'll do the things that we used to do. You'll get back to racing and, you know, we won't let this beat us. At Willowbank Raceway today, Cheryl was there for the final hurdle, Grant's return to the beast that is V8 supercars. I'd say, I mean, it must be a real sort of crescendo of emotions for you, he's finally behind the wheel. Yeah, I feel like crying. <laughs> <laughs> You're more than welcome to cry, it's good for the ratings. Go for it. <laughs> Race day will be in about two weeks' time in Adelaide, but loyal fans are on hand to wish Denya well. You don't need cantankerous people, you don't need people with egos, and, and uh, Grant's certainly one person who hasn't got an ego. Denya's childhood hero and V8 veteran Dick Johnson signed Denya before his accident. He says he still has what it takes to win. If he gives his best, I think he's got the ability to go out there and, and give the championship a really good shake. On the track, you wouldn't even know he'd been out of action for so long. Grant's recovery really tells you something about the man's determination and the unyielding support of his family and his partner Cheryl. But not everyone has been with him on this. He has had fans that have criticised him for doing too much too soon. Is this guy nuts? He was blessed to have actually recovered and now he's risking it all again. Next time he might not be so lucky. Sorry Grant, but I think you're a fool. Do I only live, you know, half a life and cut down some of those dreams that I had before? Grant acknowledges the dangers of his chosen profession, but so does his family and Cheryl, and he says they are all with him 100%. I'm not throwing away the respect that I have for them for what they've done for me over the last six months. We're doing this together, and it's always been a family dream, so... So there is only one thing to do. The dream. I just get on with it, you know. It's just, it's been like an anchor that's depressed my life for the last six months, and it's, it's, it's just something that I just want to cast off and, and start my new life, and uh, it starts today. <laughs>